uh, musically, it's using Eastern and Western modes. Um, it's a fusion of East and West, which is my voice, which is my music. Yeah. Philosophically, um, it's using music as a facilitator to bring about social cohesion. Yeah. And it's more spiritual yeah. than religious. So it celebrates the human spirit. Yeah. Everyone can relate to spirit -y. Everyone, no matter what your background may be, mm -hmm. what religion you may have. And um, it's, it's celebrating the human spirit. So people can debate about God, people can debate about religion, but you can't debate about what we're doing right now. Yeah. Talking, we're, we're connected spiritually. Yeah. And I think that, you know, uh, in our community, if you look at the Muslim community, you know, we use the Islamic word a lot, inappropriately. You know, when it suits us, yeah. Islamic clothing, Islamic music, Islamic food, yeah. Islamic finance, Islamic music, Islamic whatever, you know, yeah. and it's just become a big business, a lucrative industry. Yeah. When in fact, in my world, you know, you've got good and you've got bad. You've got dignified, you've got respectable, and you have undignified and not so respectable. Yeah. So um, I think that, you know, we, we need to keep that outlook, you know, yeah. to be mainstream, to be inclusive, yeah. to speak the language everybody understands. And uh, that's what I'm trying to do. I probably would love to have met Mother Teresa and ask her what drove her to do all this great work. You know, she was an, she was an incredible woman. She did a lot of work. And I, I know that it's related to her faith. She had a lot of faith in her... Uh, but there had to be something else, you know, that deep love for humanity and, and helping people. You know, I'd want to ask her what inspired her. Fame, I try not to take it too seriously because, um, you know, no matter who you are, no matter what background you may be from, um, if you don't put things into perspective, it can get to you and affect you in a negative way. Um, fame for me is a platform. Really, it's a platform to do better things, greater things. Definitely, definitely. The spring, the Arab spring. It's definitely... Um, uh, we're going to go to Egypt and we hope to um, visit... Tunisia, hope to visit the other countries, but you know, we need, there's still a lot happening at the moment, you know, uh, we're praying this moment, and what, what's in my mind is prayer, not, you know, doing concerts, uh, because there's still a lot that's going on in Syria and different parts, but, um, it's a very exciting time, a very exciting time. If I had a superpower, it would be to, to instill love in every single person's heart, you know, unconditional love, um, because that's, I think, the key to a lot of the issues that we have in this world, and we don't love each other enough, you know, I know you, some people, might, cynics might think it's a bit hippie or a little bit cheesy, but it's the truth, you know, love is the, is the key to all the conflicts, you know, to avoid all the problems and of this world, it's, it's love.